Hey streamers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to live stream a conference on your WordPress website. So conferences have been quite popular with businesses, nonprofits, schools, universities, and it's just a great way to offer your viewers another option other than being or attending in person. And that's been quite popular as of lately. And I'll also be showing you how to add the player or live stream to a certain page on your website so it's more accessible to your viewers. So the first thing you'll need to do is install and activate the WP Stream plugin, which you will find down the description bar. And also, if you want to set up a pay-per-view channel, which I will, get the WooCommerce plugin as well, which will also be listed down the description bar. Once you've done that, go to WP Stream Credentials. And here you can add your email and password if you already have an account on WP Stream. And if you don't, there's also the option to go here. So this link over here, and it will take you to our website where you can create a new um, account. As you can see, if you have been with us for a while, we have a new website, a new logo. So we've rebranded and redesigned and we are so proud of it and happy to share this with you. Make sure you check out our new website down in the description bar and let us know what you think. Any feedback, any comments, they're always welcome. So let's get started by clicking on get started. So you will add your email, password, and then register. This will take you to your account on WP Stream where you'll find your free trial package with your resources and you can also get an extra five gigabytes of streaming data by confirming your email address. So let's go back and enter our details of our newly created account and save changes. Now that we are connected, let's create a new channel. So I'll be creating a pay-per-view channel. And like I said, you will be needing the WooCommerce plugin for that. You can also create a free channel if you want to offer your live stream for free. And you can check out one of our other videos to see how you can do that. So as for this live stream product, I will add a title. You can add any description, product description. Make sure it's a live channel and I'll also assign a price. So $15 for this live event. You can also edit this product however you want. So you can add any categories, product tags, images, and any other details that you wish. So I'll just add conference as my category and my tags as well. I also want to add a product image just so it looks nicer, of course and more professional. And now I'm going to publish this channel. Now let's check out the settings and see what we can do. You can record your live stream and create a video on demand later from it so that you can offer it for viewers that have not been able to watch your live stream or want to rewatch it again. I'm not doing that for now, but you can check out one of our other videos and I'm just starting my live event. So while we wait, let's talk about OBS Studio, which is a free pro tool that you can use to broadcast live events. And we use that a lot on WP Stream. So go to settings and then to stream. And here you will see there's a server and stream key. So this is where your, let's say, destination will be. And you will find those details by clicking on go live with external broadcaster. So OBS Studio is an external broadcaster. And here's the server and stream key. You can copy the server and stream key and paste them into OBS like I'm doing on the screen. Click on OK and start streaming. Now let's view our live stream by clicking on view channel. But as a viewer, you are not able to watch the live stream unless you purchase the live stream, of course. That's how we set it up. That's how we want it to be. So let's go through this process of buying the live event. 
Once you've placed your order, here are your order details, including the link to the conference. And here is our live event. So now, there is a specific link or a specific page that this live is going on, but we want to add it to this link, so the live conference page from our menu. And to do that, let's go back to our product where we edited it. And here's the conference ID, I mean the channel ID 1094. Make sure you copy that, go back, edit with WP Bakery, Elementor, or anything, any page builder you have. And for Elementor and WP Bakery, we have short codes that you can type in WP Stream Player. But if you don't have any of those page builders, you can also add the short code, which I will note it down in the description below. And I'm just pasting this channel ID and saving changes. And as you can see, the player automatically showed up. Make sure you update, very important step. And also another thing, make sure you set this up before your live event. I'm doing this um, at the same time or like while it's running because it's just simpler to demonstrate, but you want to be as organized as possible. So here's the player on the page. You can do picture in picture and move this around the screen or through different tabs. And of course, you can also go full screen and your viewers can get a taste of the full experience. And yeah, that's how you can live stream a conference on your WordPress website, how you can add it to your specific page on your menu where you want it to be more accessible. And once you're done, go back to OBS Studio and stop streaming. And this is how it's going to look like and the following message will appear. You can also edit this message as well to let your viewers know what's happening. And I will link, um, I will add the link to the description bar so you can see how to change this link. So that is basically it. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've learned something. Leave a comment down below on what you would like to see next. And maybe if you check out our website, let us know how it looks like. Uh, any comments, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for our next video. See you soon.